Assalamu alaikum. This is Tanvir Hussain, and I'm going to talk about income tax calculation formula in Bangladesh. This video is brought to you by Digital Parchala, a knowledge sharing platform. So, initially, I'll talk about some basic information on income tax whenever someone is getting ready to deposit or prepare his or her income tax he or she as a taxpayer needs to know some basic information first is the period of the tax period the tax period is calculated from 1st July to 31st June of next year as an example, I can say, if we say that we are calculating tax for the tax year of 1st July 2022, so it will end in 31st June in 2023, next year. So that's how the tax period is calculated. Next, the income tax threshold. In Bangladesh, the latest income tra tax threshold is Income up to 3 lakh is considered as zero tax. That means if somebody earns 3 lakh stacker, he or she need not to pay any tax. This is called zero tax zone. For next 1 lakh, 5% income tax will be calculated. Subsequently, if somebody has earned a higher salary, or money he or she need to calculate for next three lakh ten percent amount okay the next four lakh has a fifteen percent tax and next five lakhs will have a twenty percent tax amount and if somebody earns more than that the rest amount will have twenty five percent tax so this is the income tax threshold now, individual level income tax threshold is also there. Like for general taxpayers, zero tax is up to 3 lakhs. For female taxpayers, the zero tax is considered up to 3.5 lakhs. And for disabled taxpayers, the zero tax is considered up to 4.5 lakhs. And finally, for the freedom fighters, the zero tax is up to 4.75 lakhs. So this is the basic information somebody needs to know while calculating income tax. Moving on. So I am going to show you how to calculate a basic income tax in simple four steps. The first step is basic pay. If somebody is earning a salary, then it is very easy to calculate his or her income tax. We shall take his or her basic pay and we'll multiply with 1400 as an example if you can see the slide and you'll see i have considered the salary of a deputy secretary which is 71200 into 14 months salary that comes 996800 taka so this amount is called total taxable income note that here 12 months salary and 2 with bonus of the festival allowance is calculated as 14 month salary. The next step is total tax calculation formula. As you have already come to know that for the first 3 lakh it is 0 tax, next 1 lakh 5%, next 3 lakh 10%, next 4 lakh 15%, the next 5 lakh 20% and rest of the amount will have a 25% tax amount. So for this Example, for the individual whose basic salary is 71,200 taka, the total tax will be 0 plus 5,000 plus 30,000 plus 44,400. That comes 79,800 taka. Here, zero tax for five, first 3 lakhs, 5,000 for the 5% 5 of 1 lakh, 30,000 is the 10% of 3 lakhs, and for the next 4%, it is 15%, that comes 44,400 taka, totaling 79,800 taka. 
in the next step we shall find out that if a person is earning 9,96,800 taka as total basic pay then he or she is permitted to invest 25% of that that means approximately 2,50,000 taka so the total tax exemption will be he or she can invest this 2.5 lakhs taka if it is invested properly then 15% of that money is total tax exemption that comes 37,500 taka it is the total tax exemption now the total tax payable this is the fourth step total tax payable equal to total tax minus total tax exempted so in our example we can find out that total tax we have found out 79,800 taka minus total tax exempted was 37,500 that comes 41,900 taka so this is the total tax payable for this individual now if the individual whose basic salary we have seen it was 71,200 is total tax payable comes 41,500 taka but the if the individual is the owner of a 500 cc car then what will happen then total tax payable equal to 41,500 taka minus AIT AIT means advance income tax for the vehicle he has already deposited this money while making fitness to his car so he has already paid 25,000 taka AIT so total tax payable will be 41,500 minus 25,000 that comes 16,900 taka if he or she is the owner of 1500 cc car but if the individual is the owner of a car which is above 1500 cc then what will be the total tax payable in this case total tax payable equal to 41,500 minus AIT again advanced income tax of the vehicle so in this case it comes 50,000 taka is considered AIT for a car which is above 1500 cc that means the tax total tax payable is coming in negative figure uh, approximately 8500 taka so if the salary is coming in negative figure then minimum tax which is 5000 taka is fixed by the government that will be payable now from our example we have found out that there may be three scenarios in first scenario an individual whose salary we have found that 71,200 and we have found out that his total tax payable will be 41,900 taka if he doesn't have a vehicle but if this individual is having a vehicle of 1500 cc or less then his total tax payable will be 41,900 minus 25,000 equal to 16,900 taka scenario 3 if the individual is having a vehicle which is more than 1500 cc then what will be his tax total tax payable the total tax payable will be 41,900 minus 50,000 that means a negative figure and in case of a negative figure, I have already told lowest tax payable, that is 5,000 taka is fixed by the government. So that's it. Now you should be all be able to calculate your tax in due time this year. So do the tax calculation by yourself following the four easy steps I've just shown. I shall congratulate you for watching this move. Uh, presentation. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.